plat du jour, slow cooked beef cheeks. All right, so let's get to work. And I'm gonna wear mom's kitchen apron. These are the best. Question number one. Do you cook the red wine before marinating? In fact, alcohol will, in effect, cook the surface, keeping the meat from absorbing the marinade. So, always cook off the alcohol first. Thus, the meat will absorb the full flavor of the wine. Bring wine to a boil, ignite, and add chopped onions, carrots, leek, garlic, and bouquet garni. Then transfer the marinade to a large bowl and let cool to room temperature. Place beef cheeks and a couple of short ribs, if you wish, in a large pot or container. Add the marinade, cover, and refrigerate for up to 24 hours. Next, you want to separate the veggies from the meat, and you want to pat dry the meat. That's something you must do in order to get the Maillard reaction, which is a chemical reaction between amino acids and reducing sugars that gives browned food its distinctive flavor. Heat up a large Dutch oven or similar device, add a good drizzle of grapeseed oil, salt the bottom, and sear meat each side down for 3 to 5 minutes on medium-high heat, and repeat until dawn. Do likewise with the vegetables and tomato paste. Gorgeous! Put veggies back to the bowl and arrange the meat in the pot. Top with the vegetables, add the wine from the marinade and the veal or beef stock. Season with black ground pepper, bring to a boil, cover, and cook slowly at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, 150 Celsius, for 4 hours. Then turn off the oven and leave it in there all night. So, if you start cooking at 5 p.m., turn off the oven at 9 and go to bed. I guarantee you, the smell will wake you up. All right, so see you tomorrow and see what happens. Oh my, this is what I am talking about. Think about it. By resting the meat, you allow all that cooking liquid and juices to be reabsorbed into the fibers of the meat. Look at that, baby. The alchemy of cooking. Next step, discard solids and transfer meat onto a tray and sieve the cooking liquid, a true nectar. We will cook that down and remove excess fat later. Next step for the meat, put under press and refrigerate overnight or freeze for 3 hours before cutting into portions. This allows perfectly even high-end restaurant looking serving size. In the meantime, bring the sauce to a simmer and skim off the unwanted fat that rises to the top. Let it go for about an hour. Trim and cut the chilled beef cheeks into 5 ounces, 150 gram portions. That's plenty. Now, what is the best way to store the meat? Use the sous vide technique. So, grab the chilled beef cheek and vacuum seal with or without some of the sauce and keep refrigerated for up to a week or freeze for later use. Then reheat it and serve with your favorite mashed potatoes and these delicious onion marmalade and semi-confit tomatoes. A must-try dish. To get the full recipe, go to my website brunoalbus.com and please give this video a like and hit the subscribe button below. Thanks for your support, it helps a lot. Bon appétit, see you soon. Mm.